experience the awesome power of the Panasonic Real 3DO system? Obviously. The intense realism of Panasonic Real 3DO. Apparently. Or the mind-blowing graphics of Panasonic Real 3DO. Definitely. Cool. The Real 3DO system from Panasonic. Well, if that wasn't a big enough clue, then maybe this will be. It's a Panasonic Real 3DO FZ1 model, the uh, the one that looks a little bit like Castle Greyskull from the front. And there's some interesting stickers. Two joypads, five games, uh, 399 RRP, but their price is 179 so discounted already. Quality graphics plays CDs as well. State-of-the-art game system will also show photographs on CD. Oh, when that was a thing. On display on TV above, and it's a 32 bit RISC CPU machine with 16 million colors. Blah 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 blah. Let's move this box so that we can have a look at this box. Well, the packaging screams 1993, and bear in mind that this came out at a time when all other consoles were pretty much car based. Uh, this retailed a ridiculous amount of money in the US, though, it was something like $699. Uh, and as you can see, at compute base in the UK, it was £400 uh, around that time. So absolutely ridiculous. And uh, let's see what we've got in here. Ah, controller spaghetti. Great. Let's lift it up. Ooh, right, OK. Oh, well, this looks pretty promising, actually. Uh, I've got at least two controllers here. We've got the uh, the one here. Now, these were great because at the bottom of the controller, you had a headphone jack and an independent volume jack. And on the top, you had a second DB9 port, which allowed you to daisy chain a second controller into that, which meant uh, not so many cables running to the console. Um, so let's see if we can just unravel all this. Possibly not. Mm. OK, anyway, two controllers, standard controllers. That one's a bit dinged up. But um, that's not fun. You're just adjust the camera again. Okay, so yeah, pretty good. And what else have we got here? Is this a light gun? Oh no, look, it's a um, a girth gauge for your rectal cavity. No, it's a Capcom branded, uh, I'm guessing Street Fighter controller, looking at LPR, A, B and C. So six buttons on this, and there's XP and buttons there. So it uh, really does show how flexible the port is, uh, multiplexing many buttons. We've also got, oh, look, uh, yeah, well, that's just another expansion port. So let's have a look in the box and see, let's tuck this lid back. It's getting on my granny. Inside here, we have the manual. Yeah, let's read through the entire manual right now. Welcome to the Panasonic Real World. With the real interactive multiplayer, you're about to be transported into a world of sights and sounds unlike you have ever experienced. Right with your own... Kill me now! What is the real... Oh, I hate manuals! It's a digital audio CD player! Oh my god, it's a photo CD player! Oh my god, it's a reason to not go on and step towards the darkening abyss of death! Please don't make me read this thing about the thing that's actually in the box! Please don't show me pictures. Don't show me pictures of the thing that's in the box. The shiny toy that I've just got in 1993. I'm jumping up and down with my Ribena and Soda Stream soaked top. Desperately wanting to play some games and Dad's like, let's read the manual first. We got to read the manual first. And I'm like, no, Dad, because I have the power of the jump cut. Games! Yeah, uh, Street Fighter 2 Turbo Edition. That seems to go with that controller. That's awesome! Uh, D. UK version of D. Rated 15. Someone wanted to give me the D. And Panasonic Real Sampler CD. Which is important so you can manage the memory that's built in. The save games that are built into the unit. So it's really handy to have that. Uh, I know that from my own console. So shall we pull this bad boy out and have a look at what we have got? Let's do so. Oh, you can see my preview on my watch. How sexy is that? Inception. Here we go. The Panasonic Real 3DO FZ1 with its shiny, shiny lid. It's long built-in cable. And it's incredibly annoying box that I think we should get rid of now, seeing as it's empty. Goodbye box. Hello, Panasonic 3DO. Well, doesn't look too bad, actually. Uh, it's got a bit of a scuff on the top, but I think that could possibly be polished out. We've got a plug. 
Uh, two games, nope, three games, a bit of polystyrene, and um, why am I even laying these all out? I'm, I'm not taking a pack shot. Um, yeah, so uh, let's have a look at the front of the console. Um, okay, so again, the library, Panasonic in gold, real 3DO interactive multiplayer, um, got the controller port, the open close button for the draw, and the on off button on the back it's upside down hang on on the back we've got rf out s video out video out right and left audio out because obviously it's a, a stereo cd unit we've got an av expansion port um it says on the box that there's two expansion ports i'm not quite sure where the other one is not that side um and warranty but oh no the warranty is void oh computer base what will we do i don't know because it's completely knackered anyway. Also, I've been told. So, uh, shall we try plugging it in and seeing if it works? Yes, I hear you say. It's gonna go boom. Oh, didn't go boom. I wonder why. Oh, uh, mm, uh, oh. should have checked that first, really. Schoolboy error. Always check that there's a fuse in the plug, even the molded plugs, because somebody's nicked the fuse. You fuse nicking knickerbocker glory fella me Jiminy Sunny Jiminy Jiminy Sunny lad. Luckily, I've got one in here, along with a battery that was in the way. Oh, an entire bag. Now, with fuses, you need to put in the lowest rated fuse for the current draw of the machine, and that, in most instances unless it's something like an old school monitor or a hoover or a washing machine, it's going to be three amps. In fact, they're trying to phase out five amps, so uh, three amp in there. Now, there should be a fuse protector on this. I'm not going to put one in because I'm really, really, really daring. Braces for impact. Braces for certain death. Braces for nothing. Okay, well, I've got a good feeling about this. Let's press the power button. Uh, well, that's meant to light up. Hmm. Yep, definitely not lighting up. Oh, uh, that means I'm going to have to bloody fix it anyway. Okay, so the, the fella that sent this kindly told me that he turned it on. It worked for a short period of time, uh, ejected, put the drawer back in and then would not power on again. So I'm going to look at the power stage in the next video. Subscribe to get your fix. Bye.